Long, long ago, elephants and other animals of the plains, as well as hippos, ran wild in the jungles of Africa. Webster's Dictionary defines the hippo as having a thick, hairless body, short legs, and a large head and muzzle, found in and near the rivers and lakes of Africa. Over the years, hippos were forced to take sanctuary in the water because of the exploding human population. With the help of Wolf Coach, makers of custom vehicles, and the engineering expertise of WCVB-TV in Boston, together they have brought the hippo out of its native waters to become an integral part of the television medium for the human population. Technology has finally come of age. This is the new age of the hippo. Conceived by WCVB-TV, the new hippo is small, requires minimal manpower, and is the state of the art in order for compactness and versatility. It has capabilities for a three-camera live remote with moderate audio requirements and is considerably cost-effective. And as a production tool, it's a dream. No longer will you have to charter a bus to transport your crew to the site of your 40-foot moose of a remote truck. The hippo needs a minimal crew of three and takes about 20 minutes to set up and be ready for shooting your production. Only 21 feet long and 12,000 pounds, the hippo will take you and your viewers to places where television never thought to tread. We could talk on and on about the one-inch videotape machine, the two Ikigami HL51s, and RCA TK76, the Grass Valley Switcher, and all the microwave gear housed in the hippo. But instead, we'll give you a quick musical tour. The hippo was recently seen in the presence of Arthur Fiedler and the Boston Pops at the Hatch Shell in Boston on July 4th, 1978, where it performed almost as brilliantly as Mr. Fiedler.
Hippo, you've sure come a long way. 